Hello everybody. Today we're going to upgrade these vent covers to an inner unit that is a ceiling diffuser dampener that's able to be opened and closed with uh, one of these keys. You can see this slot here in the vent cover but there's no diffuser on the inside to allow that to happen. I want to get this thing installed on the inside and I'm going to install a nicer vent cover as well, a white one. But the idea is to have this be able to open and close like this and get that installed here. And it might in, run into some problem with the fact that this ceiling tile will be hanging lower than the ducting in the inside, but I won't know until I get in there. So let's dive in. Interesting that this isn't falling off and all the screws are out sealed here somehow. Paint maybe? Maybe I want to use a knife so that I don't peel a bunch of paint off when I try. Oh no. Came off pretty nicely actually. Uh, I could scrape that off but I think our vent cover probably cover that anyway. Yeah, sure. No need. But I can see we might be running into the issue that I thought we would, where I'm not going to be able to fit that in. So that's going to require me scraping some of this out to be able to get this in there. Looks like we're, uh, we are somewhat close. So start to cut away some of this ceiling tile and this ceiling tile is not uh, easily replaceable anymore so I want to be careful what I'm doing here. I have a dust mask and safety glasses in effect so I don't breathe this stuff in or get it in my eyes. Also I'm going to use a vacuum. See how close that gets us. Well, we still have work to do.
Oh, we're getting close. We might even be there. Now the key here is when you get this recessed to be able to open and close it without these dampeners hitting anything when they go to open and close, which is happening right now. They don't open. So that's going to have to come up or be rotated so that there's clearance behind these. Let's see what we're catching on. in this way. Mm, might be good if we go in that way. Let's try to get it installed that way then. Wow, that is a very nice tight fit. That's the ticket. That opens fine. That's where I'm going to want to be. A little rough. It'll break itself in. Very cool. That's exactly what I'm shooting for. That is a tight enough friction fit where I don't think I'm going to try to drill into here or anything. Uh, how this would work if you were going to would be you'd use these outer larger holes to drill right into the ducting or the supporting woodwork around it. And then these are tiny pilot holes on the inside that will be aligned with this cover. So all I'm going to do is go into these tiny holes with the cover. It comes with very, very long flathead screws painted white. So they will go into either the ducting or the sporting woodwork anyway. I think six screws at this point would be overkill. So again, aiming for the smaller, more inner pilot hole screws, not the larger out, outside ones. If you want them to line up right, that's what you're going to have to do. Just get them started here. It's crucial you get these to line up because it's going to make sure that it's on center so that the open closing key will line up with your open and closing diffuser. And that's a wrap, that's going to work great. Of course I do have power screwdrivers and power drills, but I don't want them to slip and have the head scrape this white paint because this is right above a seating area and I want it to look nice and clean. After all, if I didn't care about the appearance, I would have just installed that inner diffuser and used the old vent cover. But I wanted the nice white look, which I think is a big improvement over 
these old nasty ones. Tighten these right down. And that is nice and secure. I guess I did, I did mar up the paint a little bit, but I can touch that up easily with some white appliance paint. Super useful to have around the house, by the way. Look at that. Opens right up. And like I said, it is getting, it would break in. It is getting broken in. It's opening all the way, and all the way closed very easily now. Very nice. Wow. Simple installation. These are made by True Air's Smooth Glide. This is a Smooth Glide model made by True Air in Vietnam. Sold by Home Depot. Secure fit, flush with the existing old ceiling tiles, and that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.